let's go to a particular document and see some improvements at the document level. I'll go to section 752, repeated dose toxicity for the oral route and inhalation. OK, so now I'm going to show you how um, the opening uh, that you can open documents in a new tab and also the representation of linked documents has improved with this release and that you can move repeatable items up and down inside blocks. So let's show uh, the opening of new documents in a tab. So let's go to a cross reference. I will remove this one here for demonstration purposes. And I will select a cross reference. So I've selected uh, endpoint study records across references. There are three currently in my database. And I wish uh, to, before uh, linking to this particular uh, endpoint study record, I wish to view it first. And I can open this in a new tab by clicking on the same icon as you saw for the entities. So by opening up this uh, document, it means that I can inspect it first uh, before making a link. And uh, of course, I can choose this to make my cross reference. The second thing to note here, uh, which is a big improvement with this April release, is the representation of these cross references and linked, uh, any kind of linked document or entity. This is a lot more obvious now what has been linked. You can see. Uh, a document icon at the start to represent the kind of document that has been linked. You'll see a generic identifier of the document, in this case, repeated dose toxicity oral has been linked here. Next, you'll see the name of the document that has been given by the user. As you can see, this name corresponds to the document name here. And finally, um, for some of these cross references, there's some summary information about the study or the document that you have linked. When cross referencing to an endpoint study record, you'll see the type of information, uh, experimental study here, if you have selected this in that field. Okay, uh, finally in this document view, let's see how you can move up and down repeatable items. So here, in the test guideline repeatable, repeatable block, I have three rows of test guidelines. I can move these up and down by simply clicking on one and dragging it upwards or downwards as I wish. In this case, I've uh, made other other guideline at the top. I can bring it right down to the bottom like this. <laughs> 